Hi, my name is Wendy Faniff, and as a concerned parent um, of children in the public school system, I thought it would be good to show you all some of the stuff that um, has been discovered as far as the technology that we're introducing to the children and into the school system um, and the effects it could have on the body of the children and all the employees also. Um, by training, I'm an electrical engineer, um, and so the understanding of this comes from the technical background, but the concern really comes for the children. Um, so what I'd like to show you is the effects of the technology um, in the electrical field that it is producing. Everything electronic has an electrical field that your body absorbs. Um, some of it is stronger than others. Um, and the technology itself is fantastic, but what we need to be concerned with is how we're getting at the technology and find safe ways to um, get this technology and not expose the children to undue extra EMF fields. Um, so what I'd like to show you is the difference between sitting working on an iPad, working on a desktop, working on a laptop, and um, just explain some of the stuff about being Wi-Fi versus being a wired environment. So what I have here is an iPad, which in the school system um, is being used uh, in most of the classes at this point. And it's wonderful technology, there's no doubt about that. The things we need to be concerned about is how it affects the body of the children while they're using it. Um, so I just have an average iPad and what I have here is an AM receiver and just an amplifier. Um, so you can hear the effects and the presence of the EMF field coming off of the electronic device. Uh, electricity is everywhere. The difference between the wired environment and the Wi-Fi environment is the path that the electricity takes and whether or not you're being blanketed by the Wi-Fi environment across your whole body, everywhere that you are, when you have a Wi-Fi um, router on and you have devices that are trying to pick it up. The communication is there, it's all around you, you can't see it, but with this device, with this crude um, example, you can hear the effects. And so this is just an average wife, um, iPad, and when you get close to it, you can hear that there's signals coming out of it. Um, and so if I held this on my lap, everything that's coming out of it is so close to my body, my tissues are absorbing it. And so you can hear that. Right, the farther away you are, the less it's going to impact you. Right, so right on my lap, this is what I'm getting. And every time you touch it, you complete a circuit. I'm it too close. You complete the, the path that the electricity wants to take. I'm giving it a way to ground. All electricity wants to go on an easiest path. And so I'm giving it a way to ground. And the signal becomes stronger every time you make contact. Um, and another thing to notice is that on a desktop, where I'd be, usually be sitting and typing, this is not so bad. The amount of noise or electricity or EMF field that's coming off of it compared to a laptop Right there, my body would be close to it. Sometimes laptops are held right on your lap, um, which is a very bad idea. Uh, the, the whole electrical field is going right into you. You're, you're the easiest path of, to the ground that the electronics want to flow, the electrons want to flow. And so, that versus a desktop. Now, both of these are actually working on Wi-Fi at the moment. Um, and if we had the ability to um, hardwire these into our, we have a Fios um, technology in my home, um, then the blanket of electronic signals that are going through and the radiation that are going through my home would be much less um, if we were to walk out next to the Wi-Fi um, modem in the other room, you would hear even more noise. The closer you get to it, the worse it is. So these are all receivers bringing and catching the Wi-Fi signal and connecting to it. As you all know, the closer you get to it, the better your connection is, the stronger, the more number of bars. So what we want the children to do is to be as far away from these Wi-Fi sources and receivers as they can be. And 
the more wired um, and the more easy path the electrons have to flow, the less they're going to go into the bodies of the children and cause harmful health effects.